So here's the connector and you can see the big metal case uh, ground pin sticking out the bottom and those are going to stick in the holes of our PC board, these four holes, and hold it in registration while we solder it on. So you can see, here he goes, it fits perfectly. Ever so slight amount of play in there. That's perfect. And you can see the pins stay right on those pads. This is fantastic. I've soldered these in without those registration pins. Uh, that was not a very exciting uh, first experience. So if you're going to use a small uh, uh, part like this, this is probably the way to go. So as a reference, I'm going to take my soldering iron. It's not hot right now. I'm going to hold this down, and I'm going to show you how big it is as a, as a general reference. So when you solder this thing on, if you got a tip like I do, it, oop, here we go. I'm knocking everything over. You can see how the what the shape of the tip is on this. It's a it's a big round thing, but it's conical and it has a a a, a, a it has a, an angled cut on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the flat part of that angled cut. I'm going to hold it face down on the PC board, and I'm going to come in at it like this. And I'm going to reach in, and I'm going to just. Barely, I'm going to pre-soak it with solder, and I'm going to just barely go in there, and I'm going to just touch the pin and pull straight back. I'm going to touch a pin, pull straight back. Touch a pin, pull straight back. That's how I'm going to solder this thing on. All right. Now I'm not. I'm gonna, I, I might put a little bit of solder on these ends, but you certainly don't need to cake them on there. Uh, the the ones that are interesting are the ones in the front. If we can get that on the camera, I want to get some solder on those. So I'll have to come in from the side like this and heat it up and get those in there. So that uh, will hold the front of the, of the connector down so that it makes it very difficult to pry off by mistake. You don't want to tear this thing off your board. All right, so what you want to do is make sure that you always have enough flux on these parts before you solder them. Yeah, there's flux in the solder, but uh, when in doubt, more flux, less solder. That's always the way to go. Don't be afraid to go back and touch up a pin if you screwed it up or you got a little bridge or something in there. Make sure you look really close at pins when they're this close together. These things are like a half a millimeter apart. And uh, I might go back two or three times if it doesn't look right to me. That one ground pin uh, right where it says J2, as you recall, that's the main power ground on the USB jack. And that could be a problem. Now when I put in the four pins, what I did is I took a 5 by 2 header and yanked out uh, three of the pins, uh, two by three of the pins so that you get the four down there. But you can see like right here, the, the, uh, the housing runs all the way across the board. That'll keep the board flat when you plug it into the, the breadboard. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe get a little eyeball at the little pins on that connector again before we test it out and of course yay it works the only difficult thing in my opinion here is soldering that connector in let me know what you think of the video in the comments below thanks for watching bye